Now, the Independent, and it looks like people, government, aren't communicating with each other or the Bank of England. Yeah, so we sort of knew this already from uh, two weeks ago when the, when the budget was launched, but Kwasi Kwarteng failed to brief the Bank of England about the risks from the min mini-budget, MPs have been told. Uh, so the Bank of England was not briefed properly about Kwasi Kwarteng's uh, disastrous mini-budget that you know, caused the, the turmoil in the uh, bond market and uh, forced the Bank of England to launch a £65 billion uh, pound uh, yeah. Rescue of pension funds. Yeah, it wasn't as much as sixty-five billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> easy. Sixty-six billion pounds. Um, <laughs> but yeah, obviously. Uh, so the uh, Sir John Cunliffe, uh, who's the um, somebody in the bank, deputy of, deputy governor, deputy, deputy governor. governor. So uh, he says, you know, obviously, if they'd come to us and said, "This is what we're planning to do," they would have given expert feedback on yeah. how it could have affected the bond no! market. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. And, uh, and they've all, he's also uh, revealed that the the leap in government borrowing costs triggered by the spooking of financial markets was impressed, unprecedented, calling it outside of historical uh, historical experience. Mm. So it's costing, the, the, the bond yield going up is costing the government a lot of money. So even yeah, yeah. by reversing all, oh, the, yeah. all the cuts, we're still, all they've done is come in, uh, make a huge mess that's going to cost us loads yeah, of money yeah. and then They would have been better off just letting the huge mess carry on as it was actually. To be honest, what we have now is like bathwater sloshing around everywhere. <laughs> it's not like it's calmed anything down, has it? It's just made it, you know, it yeah. remains unstable. I see what you mean. And, and uh, Leo's right. This, we're not surprised by this. But, but the, the budget itself wasn't that radical. It was, it was, the, it was the communication which yeah, this confirms. Yeah. Oh, and and yeah. you what lack of. And you wonder what, what was Kwarteng up to. You know, Dominic Cummings describes him as having probably the highest IQ in Parliament but being yeah. the laziest MP. So his theory <laughs> yeah. is just pure laziness. He does, it did seem to be a bit cavalier. Or was it just lack of experience? Because they've given, him, they've given the, the opposition and the blob a total open goal here. And uh, the only positive I've found from all of this chaos is that uh, Starmer will have to work with President Trump. And that's the only, <laughs> just, that'll be such pants. That's that the only positive I've found. Yeah. And the annoying thing is, so Jeremy, Jeremy Hunt's coming in to, to, to have uh, £40 billion pounds worth of uh, spending cuts, uh, which is going to basically just save money for Keir Starmer to spend, yeah. which is kind of annoying. Oh, oh do, yeah. you think, do, you, do you agree with this theory that actually this is a sort of own goal for Labour because they've now proved that you can't just borrow endlessly and that yeah. it rules out a future magic money tree for yeah. Labour and it's actually confirmed that fiscal sort of austerity or conservatism is the only way you can go. Do you, yeah. do you buy into that theory? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I don't think, you know, people talk about austerity as if, you know, we're, we're just being given a handful of lentils. But like, no, <laughs> yeah. austerity is just common sense. And how can, how can it be called austerity when we've still got, you know, equality diversity and inclusion departments wasting everybody's money. There's so much There's so much waste in the public sector. Well, austerity has... I think it has changed its meaning, hasn't it? And it is now seen to, to mean a reduction in the public sector mm. rather than, like, rationing or, yeah. or, like, people just actually being poor themselves. Yeah. It seems to mean just thinning out departments they, that have mushroomed in the previous yeah. 15 years. They do claim it has cost lives. I don't want to be too cavalier about austerity. They do claim that, yeah. you know, any cuts to services... No, so that, that, was, that was debunked pretty thoroughly. I mean, okay. I'm sure one or two lives, you know, one or two lives, you know, cost whatever you do when you raise the speed limit or lower the speed limit or anything, somebody dies. But, um, but they were, yeah, they were, like... 12,000, all that, when there was that fuss about ADOS who were, yeah. were fit to work and all that stuff, it was investigated and it really didn't match up. Well, Snowden's okay. Well, lockdown cost a lot of lives. No one seemed to care in that yeah, case. So, absolutely. Yeah.